Hey, I just slept so much today. But look, not, hey, none of that. One second. Hey, hey, what's up? So there's Kitty. She's all big now. And also, this is a new futon. So in case you don't remember, my very first video had a red futon. So this is the new one. I just stop licking my hand. I feel compelled to leave. Stop it. it I, stop it. Alright, so before I get into anything else, the RAM from the giveaway is being go is going to John Laird because it got all the way to third place. People in first and second place never even uh, replied to my messages. So I knew John Laird would, so he did, and that was fun because he actually watches my videos a lot. So it's like he deserves this. Not that you, you other guys don't deserve it, but it's like, here's go free stuff, you know? This case has very unreasonable temperatures. It's very small. It doesn't have any fans built onto it. The only fans in here are the CPU cooler right here, which is a stock Intel heatsink, a uh, Silverstone power supply, a f yeah, a little 450 watt, and then back here a dual uh, fan graphics card. It's, it's a uh, the twin frozer cooler on a GTX 970. And so I was testing does texture quality affect temperatures because I would feel like in a case like this, either your computer already can't handle the, the best games, the highest settings, or newer games at super high settings, or you would just kind of want lower temperatures to um, increase the lifespan of your, of your components. So I was thinking, you know, maybe you would want to turn them down if it was getting too hot, which they kind of do in here. I had to, like, lower the clock on my... Uh, i5 4670K from stock from 3.4 gigahertz because it turbos to 3.8 and I had to turn it down to 3 gigahertz not on this current configuration I ran all these tests at stock speed Ugh, excuse me stock speed but uh, before I'd have to turn it down to 3 gigahertz so it, it wouldn't reach 70 degrees which was is really dumb idle temperature is 41 degrees now this varies because temperatures always bounce around in this um in this I didn't get a YouTube temperature because I feel like the graphics cards aren't really doing anything. So, um, also I forgot to get it when I was doing the YouTube test. But doing a couple things like being on Chrome, using some processing power, it does um, make it a bit hotter. And moving the mouse around. Now this uses up wattage as well, and that uses up just CPU power in general to just move the mouse around. So obviously, right here the GPU is not doing much. But if I were to take out the hardware monitor, hopefully this has gotten some time to cool down. Uh, right here, it's 50 degrees. Now watch when I move the mouse around. Yeah, 53. Just from doing that. Got yeah, 57. Wow. Right? Yeah, simple tasks though. But right, so it's really... This isn't always what you're going to get to. Temperatures really fluctuate a lot. Right, and down here we have Tomb Raider. Uh, I did not turn on V-Sync, and I should test something with, or I tested with V-Sync at all times, so it kept at 60 uh, FPS. But I was thinking maybe I should try like lowest settings without V-Sync, because what V-Sync does, of course, is re uh, caps the FPS at the refresh rate of your monitor, and um, maybe if it wasn't on, it would get really hot anyway because it's trying to comprehend all the FPS, you know? Like if you're getting hundreds of FPS in a game. So I should have tested that as well, but um, I don't know, I wouldn't have V-Sync on anyway. Tomb Raider Ultimate Settings, no this is hard to read, 1080p, I just put Ult, 1080p, 71 degrees on the CPU and 76 on the GPU. And then Normal, 900p, got 66 degrees on the CPU and 62 on the GPU and then low setting 720p so you already here you can see a difference on you, mostly the CPU I'm looking for because like the GPU can just turn up its fan speed <clears throat> like whatever but this little stock heat sink is really killing this processor especially in this little tiny case with no airflow there are no external fans or no uh, fans built into the case right Shadow of Mordor I didn't finish my test but right here you can see max settings and lowest settings 1080p and 720p you can see right here 70 degrees on, this, on the uh, CPU and then 80 degrees on the GPU and then down to 62 for both so if temperatures are a big problem the games actually didn't look too bad they looked playable but I mean I prefer playing them at the max settings 
and then CSGO 1080p, I don't know how I'm reading this, max settings, uh, 75 degrees on the uh, CPU, 57 on the GPU, and then medium 900p, 68 degrees on the CPU, 62 on the GPUs, and lowest settings, th again I'm looking at the CPU uh, mostly, lowest settings 720p, 62 degrees. So right here you can already see, uh, again, along with the Tomb Raider, it does, texture quality does in fact correlate with, or temperature does in fact correlate with texture quality. So I hope you kind of enjoyed the small investigation vlog type thing. I'd like to do, have done more tests, but I kind of need to get this video out. And I'll see you in a few days.